I always say it's uh, feel very lucky to be able to take all my work, wrap it up in a tight little package, put it on top of a rocket and shoot it off the earth. It's like I always knew that that's what he would do. I'm not sure how I always knew that, but I did. T minus 10, 9, 8. I came across the brochure for the aerospace engineering department at the University of Michigan, and, and they had pictures of people you know, building satellites, and I said, that's, that's the job I want. Phil taught a lot of classes where they, they played with engineering toys, and they had rocket class. Phil taught my math class in Adventure Playground, and it's something that is used by huge companies today. I got my MBA, and one of the first things we did in our orientation was they took us to the ropes course, and and I was ready because I had already done it at Upland Hills on the, on the Adventure Playground. I found the person in the group that was the most afraid. You know, he had a fear of heights. I wanted to help him through that, and so I, I coached him when we you know we climbed up. That was. A big moment for me, realizing how I can, you know, I can help a fully grown person overcome a fear that I particularly didn't have. So I can see how those big companies like that type of thing. But you know, those are fundamentals that are taught very early on at, at Upland Hills. Seven, six, five. The reason I'm an engineer is because I'm I am mechanically inclined. I'm good at math and science. But the classes that really helped me the most were, were not necessarily science and engineering based, but those uh, creative based classes that were offered at Upland Hills. Uh, the film classes were, were very cool. You know, once you create your script, then you have the process where you create your, you know, your little claymation fi figures and, um, and you have to schedule film time and you have to get your film developed and you have to edit it. The process of that was uh, helpful in, in developing my ability to work in teams. The, the plays were always uh, a great joy for me um, and working with Karen, you know, creating a, a, a play, a production, you know, is uses a lot of the same types of creative and um, practical um, planning type uh, philosophies as building something, you know, uh, like a spacecraft. You're using a lot of uh, collaborative ideas that are that are similar, you know. I mean, yesterday for the launch, you saw that was that was a production. Four, three. And that's the most important thing, uh, is you have to be able to work in a team. I, I, I'm able to work with some brilliant engineers and scientists that have a hard time making their brilliant ideas become reality. I come in and I help them make their ideas into hardware and reality. And, and a lot of those hands-on creative skills were, were developed early in those, in those types of environments where, where you're actually you know, working with a group to, to achieve the same goal. Two, one, main engine start, ignition, and liftoff of the Atlas V with Maven looking for clues about the evolution of Mars through its atmosphere. What is rocket science? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a rocket scientist. I'd be closer to a rocket surgeon than a rocket scientist. <laughs> uh, my name is Eric Roberts. I am an engineer. I work on satellites, no matter where they go.